It is the Riot Podcast. This is the Monday, May 1st edition. Man, already into May. What yeah. a day. Yeah. What a day. <laughs> Are you going to tell about your date now? I know a podcast uh, a podcast listener or two that have been waiting for your recap on how your weekend mm. went. I had a grand weekend. Yeah. I golfed. I went on a date. We didn't golf. I was too tired. So you did golf individually, but not on the I date. golfed on my own uh, with my friends on Sunday, but I didn't go to the driving range slash golfing with her. Uh-huh. We just went out for lunch or whatever. Oh, mm-hmm. that's nice. And it was all right. Oh. Mm. It wasn't, I, I'm not saying it was bad. Are but we gonna she have was a, just like. Are we going to have a second date? Yeah. I don't know. Mark her down like a hard maybe. We, I could see us going on a second date. Mm. I thought that it went decent. She was just really smart. <laughs> Did you feel out of your league or something? When I asked her what her job was, it was uh-huh. the most confusing thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> she was like, I'm actually like published and I'm like a, she majored in like neuroscience. Mm-hmm. She essentially like does like coding for like scientific stuff. I didn't get it, mm-hmm. clearly. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe though she wants a partner who has nothing to do with that world. No. So that, and I'm not saying like dumber than her, <laughs> but just. Oh, yeah, for sure. So then that way she completely leaves her work. At her work. Mm, yeah. And then she can come home and just be on a normal level. More like fun. That's but, what I Yeah, mean. yeah. <laughs> More fun level. But yeah, overall, it went good. She was a good talker. It was a good date. It was fun. But I don't know if we're going on a second date. Mm. We'll put it down as a hard maybe for yeah. now. Well, technically, it's also her decision as she well. She was cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was cute. Where she was she, cute. Where do you think she stands on the second date situation? I don't know. Probably like in a similar spot to me where I thought it went well. It went solid. But it wasn't like blow me out of the water. Well, you got to decide soon because nothing was worse than when you go out on a date on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's Monday. So like you would normally... Connect. Try to plan something yeah. else. Yeah, or just, so, you know, like, did you say thank you for going out? Of course out? I said, like, okay. I had a good time and stuff. All right. I just... did text her after the date and said, like, oh, that was nice. But now did you Monday text her? Like, that's an important... Well, this so is really your first... early. This is too I don't want to wake her up. Yeah. It's not, but, like, this is the first, you know, weekday. After, that's true. <laughs> that is it, true. So you just have to be aware. You schedule send it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> schedule for 1130. Uh-huh. How's I'll tell your you, morning? Uh, women like communication, so mm. I'm sure you guys do, too. Yeah. You want to help him craft like a real good two days after. Well, it depends though if he doesn't want to go out with her again. You know that. Just slow plan it. Sound like that though. I'm slow plan it. Okay. To see. We just maybe. I'm not gonna like be like today like. Oh my gosh, we should hang out tomorrow. Okay. Mm. I'm just slow plan it. See if maybe plan it all into our lap. The first way to get the first date. It did. So just slow. You could always text back, say, hey, thanks again for a great uh, lunch. I hope you have a great week. Mm, because Something then I don't like have that. text her for multiple days after that. You're good. You're yeah. Yeah. Days. Yeah. Hope you have a great week. Yeah. And then I can just but not text yeah, for two days. Yeah, that does make it sound like you still want to circle back around. Uh-huh, it does. Dang, mm-hmm. Nikki, that was wow, pretty good. That was Put good. the little oh, fishing little thing. Uh-huh. It's a wiggle wiggle and pull that's the back out. That's pretty impressive. But that was my weekend, yeah. I golfed, did that. Nothing too crazy. Played Mario Kart on Saturday night with my friends. That was pretty fun. Always good We just relaxed. But today, actually, you guys, weekends? No, I nothing, uh, nothing of that caliber. I have a garage sale still this week, so I've been cleaning out. And I, I kept reading the article that became popular about it. It's called Swedish Death Cleaning. Have you, mm-hmm. you heard that term? I've heard of that, yeah. And so I kept thinking, like, I'm not quite Swedish Death Cleaning, but mm-hmm. pretty close. Dang. What's the best item going to be? For the oh, garage sale. Um, like, is there something that you're like giving away that you're like, I actually would love to keep this, but like, I'm giving it away? No, I mean, it is a lot of crap, uh, but it's good quality <laughs> crap uh-huh. and it'll be rightly priced. But no, it's just a lot of random things. No, like appliances or anything? Nothing no. good. No, some furniture. Furniture, couple, huh? A couple of little pieces of furniture. You got a, you don't have an end table by chance. I do. I have like a round one. Is uh-huh. it nice? Yeah, it's nice. It's got like a granite top to it. Ooh. Would you like it? Uh, I'll give you three dollars. I don't think I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking for my parents. Yeah, they I'll just send you a remember they moved a while back. This is real. This is a real conversation. This is not this is for the not Haggle Hudson. Yeah. Yeah. Haggle right. Hudson. Yeah. Haggle. No, they can totally just have it. Oh. Oh no no no! They can just have it. They don't have to pay for it. Well, I'll, I'll pay five bucks. I'll for also it. let you know my mom happens to be in the market for a bird. Do you have a bird? A, a bird, bird like a real bird? Yeah, she wants a, a pet bird. Oh, mom's no, I a, don't. Oh my gosh, she's getting a bird. She wants a pet bird. My dad is uh, trying to not 
Why don't that you happen. give her one for Mother's Day? Like one of those. Oh, they're expensive. Gosh. You know how much birds are? Oh, they're I can't not. Imagine. They Some, are. Does she want a, the, one of the talking ones or does she just want one of the she little birds? She mentioned parakeet. Parakeet? Those are not expensive. Are those not? like the loud ones? I feel like birds are like, I walked into a house that birds are for and they're, uh, like, they're like screaming. Those are the like the talking ones. Mm. Yeah, you should totally get her a little a bird. Parakeet? Well, that's uh, What do you even do with a bird? They're, they're like, something. What, they it, like, like sits on your shoulder? It does more than most pets, actually. Does it just fly around the house and you keep it inside the house or in like a cage? You, well, you, have you to can watch. keep it in a cage, but yeah. On you can... TikTok, there's a, it's a little parakeet, I think, and they do the voiceover. Like everybody has the voiceovers for their dogs, mm-hmm. but this one's for their bird and they make him pretty foul. Like he just, oh, nice. And he's hilarious. Foul, I get he's it. He's really, mm-hmm. he's really really funny mm. and so i'm just like to me now every time i hear a bird i hear this bird's voice uh, are you pro <laughs> bird or or nay i would personally never want a pet bird but are you asking am i pro i'm talking my about mom for your mom them? oh for your mom i don't see a big issue with it i like it you're like it's not my house I'm if she wants to take care of it yeah they can be very dirty like very hard to like you have you know like here, I let my dog out, and mm-hmm. they just go outside. This, you have to actually take care and clean yeah. up after you. But that's pet. a good thing for, like, you know, a if mom. She, your mom's like your mom and, and Yeah, and like, but the difficulty is, right, if you have a, a, a parakeet, you can keep it in the cage all the time, or you can let it fly free, which obviously is more fun. But like outside? No, no, no. Uh, in your, like, yeah. just uh, roam around the house, but then you have to, you have to put a diaper on it. They yeah. call it a flight suit, but it's really a di- a bird. Diaper that way, it doesn't just poop because all over it can the house. just poop anywhere. No, yeah. the bird that's on also TikTok. Crazy. The bird on TikTok just poops everywhere. They no just let way. it. They poop just clean everywhere. up after it. That's crazy. And it becomes it's making the millions. So sounds like that's my life every day. <laughs> Oddly enough, my dog's supposed to go poop outside. Right, one last <laughs> one last thing on the the birds that you like. You got the talking bird you're talking about on TikTok or whatever. Yeah. And people do that for their dogs. And they always make the dog sound stupid, right? No, it's cute. But they don't they though? It's ne- there's no it's smart dog. It's a dumb dogs. boy, sure. Yeah. I think I should start a channel where I give the dog like a posh British accent and make it sound very intelligent. See, I've you, seen that before. I'm sorry. You've seen it? It's already yes. taken? It's, it's a big thing with, with basset hounds, actually. No, it's not. I swear it is. I swear because it is. Because it goes so like counter character yes. to what they actually so are. So they like, like, mm-hmm. like act like they're like kind of like a, that's like supposed to be like the King of Britain type deal. Mm. But I'm actually, if you, uh, if you went to my, my TikTok, I've only posted one video and it's exactly that of Jim. Oh. So you stole my idea. I posted this over a year ago, maybe <laughs> two years behind. ago. It sounds like you may have seen my profile and not realized it, <laughs> and then made it into your mind as your own idea. Yeah, nothing like a year old uh, for mm. you page. Huh? Yeah, when post. It comes I out. guess if you posted it a year ago and it never took off, it's not that good of an idea, anyways. Well, it was don't... a decent video. I got some decent views on it. Don't shut it down, but do you think work. about a great gift idea for your mom if she wanted it? Would be a bird. That means she's missing you. Yeah, but what if it makes my dad mad? That's what Mother's Day is all about. That's what women do. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. And on that note, enjoy the podcast. We <laughs> Lots won't of good stuff in here. Anything. We do have a food fight. We try the Reese's Creamy versus Crunchy Peanut Butter Cups. So if you're watching this video podcast, hop over to the video before. That way you can watch that too. And we'll catch you next time. See okay, you guys. Bye. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. I've got a TikTok here that's taken off. You know, uh, the style, one of the TikTok trends is making like a Wes Anderson style. Oh, sure. Of, a, of, you know, just a day in the life type of TikTok. And I have a woman who trying to film a day in the life TikTok. Uh, she got quite a day that she happened to film. It was the day that she got fired slash laid off. From her job at Amazon. Oh, I saw that one. And so she's filming everything the entire day. And uh, and so she happened to catch on film the moment where she is reading the email because they didn't do it in person. Or oh, she didn't have a she meeting. Was, she was working from home, which is why she could even do this. Yeah. Uh, but she was fired from her job. She was a recruiting manager at Amazon, but no longer 
And I feel like maybe she needs someone to recruit her now. She, I guess she does <laughs> to make TikToks. I know. Because that's what she's good at. Well, I, her, I, her TikTok was fun, but then obviously very sad that she got fired. Mm-hmm. But like that was the content for it. She but she got something. Maybe that was the maybe if she focused a little more on her job and a little less on making TikToks. <laughs> Probably not. I think with a lot of the Amazon firings right mm-hmm. now, you just you can't help it if you are. Yeah. Uh, but she, you know, at least got it within the day. So she's got a lot of traction on that. Yeah. Maybe that'll get her another job. I guess the irony is that she was supposed to recruit for Amazon, right? Yeah. And what could be less of a recruitment for Amazon <laughs> than them firing you on video? Hey, she doesn't need to do that anymore because no, she is free, done. she's <laughs> free from the shackles of Amazon and now she can make all the TikToks she wants and uh, her options the, the world is her oyster. Her Which options shows, are endless. Shows you you should really be doing some sort of uh, TikTok vlog every day. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter if you're not getting fired or hired or anything like that, but you never know what could happen. You think you should film everything at all times? Just in case something good, so then you can become viral. Something good or something bad. Well, which is still good in yeah, the viral sense. Yeah, it still sense. goes viral for sure. That's yeah. that, This is how you do it. I, I, you think How many things do you think have happened in your life that you're like, man, if that was filmed... Oh, that, that it would be? Yeah. yeah, not too much. Not many? I don't think we've had. I mean, maybe. I, th- I just think, I'll tell you this for sure, is that any moment that would go viral in my life, I wasn't filming. Yeah. Because I'm never filming. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but well, I think. Well, get on it. Change. I, th- I know, no, but I don't have the space on my phone. Okay. <laughs> well, then and you're not ever going to have her success. I'm not really committed. I'm, I'm trying to go viral the old-fashioned way by saying crazy things. Okay, I'll leave that one to you. Yeah. <laughs> don't drag me into that. All right. Uh, so it was a WFH, a work from home. Mm, yes. Again, why she was, which <laughs> explains why she was even able to film all of this in the first place. <laughs> You try fill if I try doing this. Well, here I might get away with it. But if uh, I try doing fine. it at an actual job, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to film it because I'd be too busy having to actually work. This is Radio U's worst of the riot. So look, it's no shock that people will pay, particularly men, will pay women to do wild and weird things online. You know, like that's just it's. But. As many of those weird things, the weird requests I've seen made, anytime one that's new to me comes Mm -hmm. across, I feel like we have to talk about it. Well, when you read this. I don't feel like we have to talk about it. I feel like we don't. That's also a good point, too, and very respected point. It makes the, uh, like, feet pics seem like, well, that's not as weird as we could get. You know, feet feet pics aren't so bad after all, huh? (laughs) Feet pics are pretty tame, actually. This is still, like, there's nothing, there's nothing it's not like pornographic or anything, but it's just weird. Isn't it weird that this woman uh, here, she's a former stripper turned influencer. She's now 29 years old. Apparently she's a millionaire. And the, how has she become a millionaire? By just basically selling anything about her, including bags of her burps. Oh, it was that lady. Yeah. Uh, what, have you seen this? It's on my For You page. Mm, what kind Listen. of For You page you got over there, Nikki? It's a it's a free-for-all. I have to search <laughs> you for never this know. stuff. You just never I know. I have to search. You, you're just getting it naturally. This lady, yeah, she says she uh, gets, gets guys will pay her, among other things, for Ziploc bags that she burps into. Oh. And the How bigger, much are we talking, though? 100 like, bucks. The, 100 bucks? Uh-huh. 100 bucks. Per bag? Per burp? Per bag. And then she says if... Uh, Do they pay for shipping or... No, there's no way, right? Well, I mean, the shipping person be, has to pay for shipping. Yeah. Shipping would probably be pretty low on a bag of air, don't you think? I, I think it'd be weird. You want to package that up before you go to the post office? Do you or? need to, like, uh, put <laughs> put the bubble wrap around it? <laughs> the bubble Or do you burp into each it? of those little ones, too, or to you inflate in, those? Do you insure the box? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. What is the value? I mean, I know low. they pay. It's real low. <laughs> it is low to most people, but to some weird dude online. He's paying $100. But that's not all that she sells, though. Uh, Like, she, it sounds like she's just saying yes to everything that any guy asks her for because she'll also, like, do her toenail clippings. Oh, that might be worse than burping. What are they doing? Sucking on those? No, there it is. (laughs) What are they doing with those? Be honest here. Hang on, it's it's Monday. Let's <laughs> let's let's travel carefully. <laughs> uh, bathroom trash she'll send oh, the gosh. peels off of her foot. You ever like 
peel the skin off of oh, the, the back here. Well, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Well, you would send that with a toenail. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a package deal. Listen, it's a combo deal. It's the I'm foot not combo. judging it until I get actual numbers. So how much would the foot peel of skin hmm. get you? Oh, so you mean there's a there's a price you would pay for foot peels? If you're telling me like it's five hundred dollars or something per foot peel, and you need to get a pedicure anyways, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, I'm I not... sell my shavings for sure. I know, right? No doubt. Uh, if somebody wants them, you can you can reach out via eight seven seven two radio you. You can you just text let me know. You're the first one that's ever solicited. That's that, fine. That I will sell my foot peels. Everybody else, it's like it's some weird guy asking a lady, and she's like, "Well, I guess you know if you're willing to pay." And then Isaiah's like, I'd endorse it. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I'd advertise it. Our next fundraiser yeah. is 100% uh-huh. fully funded. Yeah. Uh, she said that the bigger and longer the burps are, the more money you can make. Mm. So there's this whole world of this. Yeah. This, I just, what, how do you figure out that you want that as a guy? Like, what do you go through in life? Where I think- you eventually decide, I am so into burps that I'm going to ask ladies online for them nice. and I will pay good money. I just think they're at their bottom, and that is the lowest. Yeah, yeah I think if you request this, you need to take a long look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> you need to reevaluate well, your life. Well, the list some of to me decisions. gets worse. You can ask for dandruff, hairbrushes, old socks, vacuum dust, Well, at least they're socks. You can suck on that yet again. <laughs> oh, floss and more. So, uh, the Q-tips. The Q-tips. That's a bad one. That is weird. Yeah. Man, there's some just strange people out there. Again, if you want to pay for somebody's used floss... There's not technically anything wrong with that, but you you definitely need you need to do something. You need to find another outlet. This is the riot radio. You. Uh, I I don't know if you've seen this guy going around TikTok. His name is Kong. He is a car enthusiast. He kind of te- likes to teach uh, little car hacks. Oh sure. And but one of his car hacks that uh, people are actually really appreciating is. To many people, no hack at all. It's just a normal thing. But he's got a video that's going around where he teaches people how to defrost their windshields. It's harder than you think. <laughs> Have you ever thought that? No. Have you never, yeah. Yeah, no. Have you ever had <laughs> no, it all, is. You've had a morning where, like, you can't get the right combination. Yeah, it's, like, confusing. Yeah. It's, You're like, is it supposed to be hot or cold? I yeah. don't want to use the confusing word. I just want to meet, like, it's frustrating because you feel like you're doing everything right, but your windshield will not defrost. And so you're just running the windshield. Are you talking wipers. about? Then you're wiping the inside. Yeah, you don't know if it's the inside or the outside. You know what? <laughs> He says you're not supposed to do that because it'll because then you're gonna make streaks everywhere. Well, then you. Well, when hands. I'm trying to figure it out while driving, I'm like, why isn't it working? And then you start wiping. Why are you driving? Why you have the the. With the windshield all fogged up. I'm, I'm driving with a sheet of ice over the front of my car if I'm in the wintertime. <laughs> Everybody's running late and you don't have time and you always think that it'll clear by the time you get out of your neighborhood. If there's a people <laughs> the size of a quarter I'm driving. That's it. So what does he say can fix it? What do you mean? You just turn on the defrost. He just shows you the button. It's just it a button and it's a knob. It always work. Yeah, I it's agree. 2023. You have like a, a brand new vehicle. They, they've spent... The, Defrosting technology has come as far as it will ever come. I'm just telling you, I, I don't think I'm the only one. I agree with Nikki. It every doesn't so, always work. Every so often, it just does not work out. I've never heard of anybody having issues with this before. What are you oh. talking about? I know many. I've had this conversation many a times about why, how it's just weird. It doesn't that's work. That's why he's making the video. Yeah. Because we're all having issues. It just means your car isn't heated up Just enough click on yet. the comments on TikTok and it'll be a million people I saying, oh my him. gosh, yeah, I, I totally agree. Some guy here, he says, how have I been driving for 30 years and just n- learned this today? So they're saying that people don't even know they have a defrost button? That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. It's not I just a, like, oh, it doesn't always do it right away like I want it to. It's... I didn't even know that was an option that you could do in a car. I see. Sometimes when you, like, if you go get a car or a lease or something, Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like they necessarily run through the entire car with you. Mm -hmm. So you maybe just never knew. Everybody's got buttons in their car they don't know, you know? That's what I was going to ask. You guys, can you think of any? Any buttons, Any buttons that I don't know? Don't I don't know think about. that there's any that I don't know at this point, but I know that there's buttons that people don't know. I know if I got in somebody else's car. That would be there'd foreign, be buttons. Yeah. yeah, but in my yeah. car, I know that my car, like the back of my I could drive with my eyes shut, to be quite frank with <laughs> you. Mean you mean with the windows fogged? With the, I, I could drive it with the wind, <laughs> windshield uh, all iced up. So yeah. they say that never use your hand to wipe fog off a windshield. It transfers oils from your skin to the glass, which will create streaks and makes it worse. Yeah, you ever notice if you're driving at night, actually, you know what the worst is when you're driving 
when like the sun is setting and you're driving towards the sun and you got to it's like, you know, sun shining bright, beautiful day, but you got a streaky windshield mm-hmm. and that'll make it impossible for you to see. It's hard. Yeah, so. so they say do the cooling mode, your front windshield defro- defogger, <laughs> they say in an air circulation mode. Do you think it'd be helpful the one, to actually uh, describe the button yeah, of that what one. it looks like? The swishy button? It's got, yeah. it, it's got like three squiggly lines yep. in, like a, in like a square, like the shape of your windshield. That's that one. And there's one that... In most cars, it should be you turn the knob to that and then turn on the heat, and that'll de-ice your windshield. Uh, and then there's also a button you can press that looks similar that'll do your back windshield. But if you don't know that, uh, Hudson thinks little of you now, and he'll be welcome to show you if you need a in-person tutorial. There's so many buttons in those new cars. Now I can't tell which one's which. When I get my like my roommates, he's got like a brand new car, and there's a million buttons in there that my car is pretty new, but I've never seen before. And we never ask for help, so it's no. not like yeah. you know the first time you're like, "Why? Well, I, I really need to look up this button." I mean, who knows all the car hacks that we are missing out on that we could just learn from watching this guy? Yeah, he seems great. The Riot Radio, you. Well, there's still even with inflation uh, just being kind of settled in, there's still. Areas where some certain items can have random big jumps in price, right? Like bird seed. Oh, I did. I saw that. You Is saw that it? weird? Yeah, bird seed has gone way up in in, uh, in price. Is and it because people were so desperate we're eating it? Like, what's the reason? <laughs> Wow, that what is this, North Korea? That's I pretty dark know. of a thought. But uh no but bird Have seed. Have you seen how much trail mix is and how pretty spot on uh, bird seed can be? You know be? what? That's actually a good point. There's some, really M- some MMs in there. What really is the difference between bird seed and mixed nuts? Mm-hmm. Uh is it the salt? It's yeah, probably, probably the salt. Uh bird seed, typically like you're talking, uh they say it'll go up about Normally, like uh, 50 cents a year, maybe for like a big bag, like, a, you know, a, gi- a giant bag of birds, because you can't just buy a small amount of bird seed either. But uh, bird seed has gone up significantly since uh, they, they are chalking this up to, they think, the war in Ukraine. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that's where all the bird seed came from. But it must. But supply, <laughs> they're blaming, see if this sounds familiar, the war in Ukraine, supply chain issues. Preventing, uh, making birdseed more difficult to get, more difficult to sell, and thus supply and demand getting too expensive. Goodness. Well, driving the prices up. What are we going to do? <laughs> like, no. how am I going to be able to go on I without know. the birdseed? I yeah, know but- you say that, but it's weird. Like, Eric will always, he used to buy birdseed a lot because uh-huh. he just would like, he had a bird feeder up. And I was like, why are we wasting our money on this? Yeah, like, that's yeah. right. I don't need it. And I also hated birdseed because it brought birds and then they would just poop everywhere. It does bring the birds, yeah. usually the birdseed. <laughs> it enough. does bring the birds when you put it out. <laughs> and I was like, man. <laughs> From you, what I've read. You like seeing them, but then you also, it was a lot. I was like, I cannot afford to feed the birds. Mm -hmm. And then they're just, uh, again, messing up everything. Yeah, you can barely afford to feed, like, animals that live in your house. Your own pets? Yeah, that you actually get love and affection from. Forget about these birds that are only using you for your sunflower seeds. Yes, and then we always would have squirrels, which... um, was a no-go for my soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, Rolo. Mm. That's a bad thing. If a, if a squirrel's in our yard, we have issues. So what, have you cut off Have you cut yeah, off the bird seed? Yeah, we don't fill the bird seed anymore. You don't do it anymore? As of 90% of Americans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't know why. I know why. But you don't want to know why bird seed's so expensive? Because no one's buying it. So whenever someone buys a bag, it has to be like $10 no, so they can make a profit on it. It became popular during COVID because mm-hmm. everyone's like, I want a friend. Between yeah. the ages of 60 and 85. <laughs> it's entertainment at it's home. It's entertainment. It's it is interesting to see different birds, but it's also, it feels like an easy thing to cut back on. We can all, but well, I you, know said no. you know who the real loser is all this? The birds. The My birds. grandparents. Oh. What, are the, what are the birds supposed to do? They have other stuff. Where are they going to eat? They can find other food. Birds that, live perfectly fine. Yeah, they, They're a wild was, animal. That was extra food for them. That I, was him just being lazy. Like you think like, we're feeding the birds to keep I them think, alive? There's enough bird seed I think going around. We're harvesting up all the food that they would be eating, and we're putting it in bags and then putting it in a different spot for them no. to eat. No, Hudson, they weren't. Like I just have to get to Nikki's house, or I'll die. I think they were. <laughs> the, you're, they always knew I can count on Nikki. Uh-huh. She's gonna have us covered. And then what happens? What happens when the grocery store around the corner from your house closes, and you have to start driving a little further? 
and a little further. If you're driving anywhere for bird seed, you should be embarrassed. <laughs> I'm talking about the birds. The you were, birds. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> well, does anybody, uh, did you pick that up during COVID because you were desperate for interaction? Yeah, text and- in. Somebody text in that's buying bird seed. <laughs> and now you can't, you're not buying it anymore. It's too much. It's a tough time. So that if you're a bird, text in and say how much you... <laughs> You wish Nikki still stocked the bird seed. I will not be guilted into that. That is not going to happen. There's cardinals <laughs> dropping dead. It's your fault. I haven't S- seen any. Starvation. The Riot with Hudson and Nikki on Radio U. On Radio U. When was the last time you guys talked to your neighbors? Neighbors? Uh-huh. Like next door neighbor or like in the neighborhood? Just, uh, yeah, neighborhood. Any, anybody neighborhood? nearby? Facebook count? <laughs> no. Are you, are you friends with your Facebook friend? Uh, Facebook friends. Are you fa- friends with your neighbors uh, on Facebook? No, like, but we are a part of the same community group. Mm, so you could be you friends. So would. Yeah, well, you I mean, could. Just, so you would. could be friends with them, but you choose not to be. <laughs> No, but it's it's been a tiny bit. <laughs> mm, so you don't you don't really chit chat with the neighbors. We'll say hi and wave, obviously, mm-hmm. but not not like hang out. I don't know if that is obvious, especially though with you. Uh, I say you talk to your neighbors a lot. <laughs> I talk to my neighbors a decent amount. Yeah, I talked to one of my neighbors yesterday. Oh, I've went out with my neighbors before. My neighbor Jeff, out real cool town. guy. Yeah, out on the town with Jeff. Yeah, I've real never, cool guy. Never done that. They uh, went out to like dinner or anything. No. No? Okay. You want to hear my neighbor's situation? On one side, I have neighbors that are constantly outside that hardly ever talk to me. Is that the rooster people? No. Okay. No. (laughs) Technically, those are my neighbors, but I don't know who those people are because they're, again, the house is like in a little alleyway or whatever. Yeah. But uh, my next door neighbors on one side, I never talk to them, even though the one guy is constantly outside. I mean, me and the, the rest of the family will say hi, but he's not very friendly. Uh, on the other side is the family that comes and goes that also lives in Tennessee half yeah. the time. Oh, sure. Actually, 75% of the time at least. So but they're not there often? Yeah, they're not there often, but I'll interact with them if they're around, although it, I can't get into it now, but I had a really weird interaction with them about light up reindeer at Christmas time. See, I think that's why you shouldn't be like super close friends with your immediate neighbors, mm-hmm. because if something happens, it's going to be the one to the left or the right of you, mm-hmm. and you don't want to have it be too complicated mm. if you're going to start fighting about something. And then I have a neighbor to D- the Don't other. get involved, Rush. Once you guys start yeah. fighting, which is inevitable, yeah. <laughs> you're going to hate each other, and they're going to live right next to you. Well, it's going to make it really awkward. But if you hate the person down the street, that's no big deal. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's right. That's a healthy, keep a healthy distance. The other neighbors, though, are funny because the guy is like, asked me if I'm doing work on my car or whatever. He'll come over and I'll be like, hey, you need any help? I've got the scanner and stuff. He's real nice. But then if I come, like sometimes mail gets delivered to my place. Yeah. And if I come to his door with the mail, he's like, who are you? He's mad or? <laughs> no, he just doesn't recognize me then, but he's come and talked to me before. So real odd. Anyways, what do you think is the most annoying? I've, I've got a survey here, but I want to know what do you think is the most annoying thing that neighbors commonly do? Um, things that you're not supposed to do in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So like if it's a rule, uh, and they do it, then you have to be, you know, like the one guy like next to me, Mm -hmm. he he has a boat. He constantly drives his boat to his backyard and he just drives like through the side of the houses. Yeah. And it's just like, like between your two houses Yeah, on your grass. He doesn't never cross over, but it's right there Mm. (laughs) because I have a fence. She's like, it's that close. It's that close. (laughs) So he drives his boat into his backyard on his side of the fence. Why does that bother you? It's just weird. It is weird. Wild. There's boats in the back. It's like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to have a boat like that. Why Nikki's not? calling the police. That's, that's a rule. You're not supposed to. Why is that a rule? This. Okay, we're not talking about that now. This you is just Karen asked. Nikki. This is Karen Nikki. <laughs> no, Anybody it's not. Isn't wondering. <laughs> I don't say anything about it. I just stay in my house. And you just said something about it. She hates it. I won't say anything to him. I'll keep it to myself. Hmm, I'm looking on the list and driving your boat in your own yard to the backyard. Not on the list. It's not? No. Well, I think you're the only be. one who said that. Well, the, but she didn't get to vote, so. Yeah, the top thing on the list was in a, inappropriate parking. Does that, I guess the boat it in the backyard count. counts. It does, I guess that is. It technically falls under the definition. Inappropriate parking is messed up. I can agree. Because he'll park his boat on the side of the house for like a good so many months. Mm, mm, a I, real eyesore for the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is that is tough. Also, my complaint, having a loud rooster, not on the list as well, but loud music did come in at number two. Really? You know, I used to like apartments. So I get to do that. Yeah, people don't like if you get out there and just start blasting music. So uh, keep it keep it to a reasonable level.
I just feel like we just learned so much about Nikki. Whatever. I am a great neighbor. I don't say anything. It doesn't mean I'm not annoyed by it. But <laughs> I never, that actually I never is a complain. great neighbor. I won't do anything about it. I'll just stay in my house looking at your boat you and being annoyed by the, it. You don't even post in the group Facebook I about it? I do not. Absolutely not. Jeez. That is the best neighbor. You can do whatever you want, and Nikki will just let so you go. I'm not, a, slide. I'm not a Karen. She's I'm just not silent a silent Karen. <laughs> she hates you internally, but to your face, she's going to be so nice I to you. I will. That's exactly how I am. <laughs> Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.